What's good, guys? Prince Sports here, man. Now, I want to talk to you about the new asinine analyst of the day, basically. And that's none other than Shaq himself. Hall of Famer Shaq himself. Now, he said something completely stupid. Jeez. He said, if LeBron James gets the number one scoring record, you know, passing Kareem, he's the GOAT. Hey, nigga. Help me. You know how stupid that sounds? So now, winning don't count for anything in today's generation. Only It's all about clout chasing and making up nonsense stuff. Now Shaq know what he was talking about, and he know he was talking some foolishness. Flat out, completely, utterly stupidity. It's just for shock value. Because there's no way in hell that stats is gonna make you to go. So if that's the case, then Karl Malone is better than Michael Jordan and LeBron James right now with zero championships, zero wins. You know, if losing is the number one validation to being a GOAT, then Karl Malone, LeBron James, Jerry West, Walt Chamberlain, you guys are all the GOATs. Cause you lost and have more big moments when you're losing, bigger than the mo some of the moments that you have when you won, all right? But I guess winning don't count no more. So. Will Bill Russell be called the greatest defensive player of all time if he didn't win 11 championships? What if Walt won those? Who you think have been getting more credit? Walt Chamberlain got waxed, choked against um, Bill Russell a lot of the times, right? His numbers and field goal percentage went down. That's a fact. So, you mean to tell me scoring titles and stats so you could stat pad your way to greatness and be called the GOAT. In what world we live in that today's sports is judged based on losing more than winning. Oh, shut up, nigga. You know why Michael Jordan is the GOAT? Especially and particularly over LeBron James? He's won more, lost less. Better individual accomplishments than LeBron James and did it in a short amount of time. Now imagine if Jordan played the same time that LeBron played. Because he could have just sit there and stat pad and average 15, 16 a game, even if he was declining and still got to that number one record. Right? But it would have been a complete waste because Michael Jordan knows winning comes first. Well, at least that's what he so called um, wanted to believe. And the world was on winning comes first. I never seen... Um, <laughs> a day and age where we validate losing losing comes first really that's what you, that's greatness to you guys losing then making excuses to why you lost but you still going to be counted as the goal that's dumb that's flat out dumb so with that being said going by Shaq's logic and I'm pretty sure going by some of you um brainwashed slurper logic Karl Malone is better than LeBron James and Michael Jordan. As of right now, Karl Malone is better than both of those guys. If we just go on by stats and being ranked on the scoring list, because Karl Malone is ranked higher than both of them. And he got that for a longevity award. Okay? Even when he was out of his prime, but still able to average double digits and points, that's how he got that. That's why I keep telling you longevity is just a longevity award. That don't make you a GOAT. Since when is playing a long time make you the GOAT? So I guess Vince Carter is the GOAT, right? He didn't win anything. But he played basketball for a very long time, so he's the GOAT. That's what we really going by? Really? I mean, this is utterly asinine. This is why LeBron James remains the most overrated player by the media. Because it's media guys, media outlets like Kendrick Perkins... And all these other people, the Nick Wrights and all these idiots that disregard and try to change the narrative of what greatness is. All of a sudden now, greatness is based off whatever they want it to be so it could, could cater to LeBron James. This is sports. This is sports, you idiots. Winning comes first. Okay? And how you do it is based on your legacy as well. Period. Okay? Win more, lose less is always more impressive than losing more and winning less. Period. 
being the best player on your own team and ranking up individual awards and winning at the same time, team and individual accomplishments, boom, all spacked into one, that goes onto your resume for greatness. You can't have one or the other less than, less than each other. They have to be equal and you gotta win more than you lose. You can't be the GOAT if you lost on the biggest stage more times than you won, period. If that's the case, Jerry West is better than Michael Jordan and LeBron James. He lost eight times in the finals. What? <laughs> okay. So if losing is means the greatest, Jerry West, Karl Malone, all them guys are better than Michael Jordan and LeBron James. You see, now you slurpers won't sit there um, and say that. You're going to have an excuse be like, no way. Stats don't mean everything. You know, Karl Malone don't get championships. Well, guess what? Your own boy, LeBron James, just said he's still trying to catch up to Michael Jordan. He said that recently. So LeBron James got more sense than the media that's covering him. Because he said that he's still trying to catch up to Michael Jordan. He's still trying to catch up to Michael Jordan. Repeat, he's still trying to catch up to Michael Jordan. Because even he knows that he don't get it. Press sports out, man. Peace.